Question number 11. Okay, company, a company produces a type of potato chips and pack them before being marketed. A mass of a packet of chips ranging from 7, 75 gram to 80 gram will be accepted for marketing. So you see from this diagram here, only this part will be accepted for marketing. Okay, so between 70 to 80 gram. While the mass of packet of chips that are out of that range will be sent for repacking. So the other two here will be sent for repacking. Okay, so now what's the question asking? Find the mean packet of chips marketed if the company produces 5,000 packets of chips. So this will be the end value. Okay, so from here, you know, this question is binomial distribution. So the first part, they're asking for mean. So mean is what? N times P, right? So N will be 5,000. P is the probability of success. So the probability of success is, that means being marketed, right? So it's this 97 out of, uh, total is 100. So 97 out of 100 will be 0 0.97. Okay, multiply this. You should get your answer 4850. So this is your answer. Now, second question, if six packets of chips are chosen at random from the company, find the probability that exactly two, okay, will be sent for repacking. Okay, so this one is a bit different. The difference is now, instead of finding for what they will be, um, the first question here is asking for, based on how much chips re, uh, being marketed. This one is exactly two packets will be sent for repacking. So the P value is not like the previous question. The previous question, P is 0 0.97, Q is 0 0.03. But now because we are calculating how many exactly two will be sent for repacking, so your P value now is going to be 0 0.03 and Q value is 0 0.97 okay so please take note of that huh? okay so we are going to find exactly two so x equals to two so we are going to take six choose two and then 0 0.03 power 2 0 0.97 power 4 okay six minus two is four so you calculator straight away answer is 0 0.0 1195 okay second question done next let's see third one if a manager chooses 10 packets of chips okay from the repacking unit okay this is another one see the first two question is calculating based on the total uh, chips they have right they are, that means you see the first question they are finding the mean based on the total chips marketed and the second one is based on the repacking but this one eh, sorry this one is sorry i made a mistake the first question is asking they are finding for the number of chips marketed based on the entire uh, total amount of chips okay so total is 100 lah, okay we've seen here total as 100 but the second one is asking for re the number being repacked based on 100 as well okay but this third one they are asking for 10 packets they are choosing 10 right from the repacking unit so the repacking unit that means we are not really going to consider the marketed ones we are only going to consider the repacking ones clear so the repacking one is only three of them Okay, so we, what is your P value and what is your Q value? So it's going to change. Okay, it's not the same as the first two questions because this one they are only based going to base on the repacking unit. Okay, so the P value. Um, wait, the question is asking what? Find the probability that he will get more than two. Okay, so that means P X is more than two of chips that have mass below the range below the range so that means p would be one out of three and q will be two out of three clear so now we are going to solve our using a binomial here so i just write down here 
So we are looking for p x more than 2. But if we use more than 2, we have to find x equals to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Too many. So we're going to take 1 minus p x equals to 0 minus p x equals to 1 and also minus p x equals to 2. Okay. So 1 minus, so x equals 0 will be 10 choose uh, 0 times 1 over 3 power 0 and 2 over 3 power 10. Okay, this is the first one. Minus 10 choose 1, 1 over 3 power 1 and 2 over 3 power 9. Minus 10 choose, sorry, 10, 10 choose 2, 1 over 3 power 2 and 2 over 3 power 8. Okay, so yeah, just key this into your calculator and you will get your answer straight. 1 minus 0 0.29914. So your final answer would be 0 0.7009. Okay, so this is your answer. Alright, last question here. A random variable x. Okay, so this is a normal distribution. They gave you this. So what do we know from here? The 12 represents the mean and 25 is the variance. Okay, this is the variance. Okay, so they give you this x more than k is equals to 1 over 4 x less than equal to k. Find the value of k. So from here, okay, let me just do it down here. Question B. So they gave you this, right? Equals 1 over 4 px less than equal to k. Alright, so what you can do, huh? i show you all something. If I shift this over, it becomes divide, right? So it becomes this. Equals to 1 over 4. Now, what do you all understand from here? If I draw my normal distribution curve, Sorry. Here is zero. Now, you see what, what it means, huh? If let's say you, you can see that P X more than K is one. This is a ratio, huh? The ratio between this more than K and less than equal to K is one to four. So in other words, you should already know that K is a positive value. Why? Because the ratio here is one. So that means more than K this side the ratio is one and less than equal to k that means this entire side here maybe i should use a different color okay so this all this here less than k right will represent four okay so here is one and here is four clear so we can since we know the ratio we can form our probability they ask to find the value of k, right? So there are two ways you can use. Of course, you can either use the table or you can use the calculator. In this case, I'm going to use the calculator. Okay. If you're using the table, please make sure your x is more than. Uh, okay. You're using this. You're using this. So x more than k should be equals to 1 out of. Because more than, right? More than is 1. The ratio is 1. So 1 out of. The whole thing is 5. So 1 out of 5. Okay. You have to use this uh, if you're using the table. But I'm going to use the calculator, so I'm going to use less than. Okay, less than k equals to 4 out of 5. Okay, 4 out of the whole thing here is 5. Clear? So 4 out of 5. Now, the question is, why am I using this for calculator? It is preset in the calculator that it is always less than. Uh, if you want to use the calculator, you must use less than. If you want to use the table, it has to be more than. Clear? Alright. So now, in this case, we change it to uh, normal distribution first. So, P, Z, less than, K minus 12, divide by 5. Okay? Because why? Uh, this is variance, right? So, standard deviation is 5. Lah. Square root of 25 is 5 equals to 
405 is 0 0.8. So you key this in your calculator straight away. You will get k minus 12 over 5 is equals to 0 0.8416. Okay. So from here, just shift your k value would be 0 0.8416 times 5 and then plus 12, you will get 16.208. That's how you solve.